Guys, how are you? What I wanted to do is talk to you today about the differences between spring and spring boot. This video is going to be a little short. I'm pretty much just going to touch on the top, the, um, the main topics of spring versus spring boot. So it's not going to be really lengthy or anything like that. It's just going to give you a clear understanding between the differences between spring and spring boot. So what are the differences between spring and spring boot? Well, spring is a framework and it's a it's a framework that is primarily based on dependency injection. So if you don't know what dependency injection is, I've actually explained it in my last video. So go check that out if you're confused about what dependency injection is. Um, another thing is that is used to manage life cycle of Java classes. Now, classes that are managed by um, spring are called beans so it's basically just used to manage the life cycle of java classes another thing about spring is that it consists of a lot of boilerplate configuration and boilerplate configuration is basically um a type of configuration in which the programmer has to write a lot of code to do minimal task or just write a lot of code to do task in general another thing about spring is that whenever you're developing applications simply just using the spring framework it takes a lot of time to have the application up and running and the reason why is because of a lot of the boilerplate code that the programmer would have to write now i want to talk about spring boot spring boot is basically just a suite of pre-configured frameworks and technologies that remove all that boilerplate code so the, the way that it removes that code is that Spring Boot allows you to use annotations in order to get a lot of things done. The annotations that are used in Spring Boot are really powerful and they're pretty much just the shortest way to have your application up and running. Now, on this next slide, I just wanted to mention a few differences between the um, Spring Framework and Spring Boot. I pretty much mentioned these before as far as the boiler plate code but when it comes to the XML configuration and annotations um, when you're working with spring framework there is a lot of XML configuration that you would have to program in order to have some have certain functionality within that application in order to make sure that it works properly whereas in spring boot you simply just need to add quick little annotations to different parts of the code in order to create your application in spring and now this picture right here is one I found online and I think it clearly explains the differences between the spring framework and spring boot so as you can see this top picture has all the ingredients that you need in order to make a cake you have the eggs you have the butter sugar and all these other ingredients that you would have to put together in order to make a cake so as I said before, when you're working with the Spring Framework, there's a lot of implementation. There's a lot of things that you would have to do in order to get your application up and running. So just like you're making a cake, you have to mix the, these ingredients together, you know, in a certain type of way, you know, put, you know, put your um, cake within the oven, wait for 30 minutes, and, and next thing you know, you know, then you're gonna have your cake but spring boot pretty much already prepares that cake for you and then from there you can choose what you want to do with that cake and you probably want to eat it at that point all right so in the next video what I'm gonna do is just show you the show you how to implement an application in spring and then I'm gonna show you how to implement an application using spring boot so that's what I'm gonna do in the next video but for this video, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something here. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.